yeah hello there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson over here and today we are going to learn about the uh, emanated size so we will be emanating our image whenever the size of that particular image changes so uh, let us get started over here so let's go to the screen and let's add a new file and let's call this one as uh, a size and i guess that's a vsi of jt size underscore the animation dot the dart file and let's have a set full uh, widget over here because we need to set a state so a size ani animation and then let's import the material package over here and let's set this one to the const over here and here we will set up the uh, scaffold over here and let's add the app bar and I will set the app bar and let's have the uh, body over here and the body I'll set it to the center and have a child and a column over here and with this column let's have a children and uh, let's close this one over here and let's grab some of the uh, let's grab the size box from here and uh, let's paste it over here and let's grab the uh, button also so we need a button and the particularly the size box so let's grab this one from here and uh, let's paste it uh, below this one over here let's remove this one from here and uh, then what we will have over here is we need to add a uh, animated over here animated uh, the ed animated size over here and this will help us to animate whenever the size of the child changes so what we need is a duration so that is the only required parameter over here const of the uh, duration and i'll just say a millisecond of let's say uh, 800 over here and uh, then we can also add the curve over here so you are a VS curves uh, curves uh, why I can't see you are VS curves and then I have the let's say bounce out and other than that we can also set the child property for this one I'll add an image from the assets and that will be of the SSET assets slash the a user one dot the JPG that we have and with this we will have a height and width so whenever it changes we are going to emanate it so we have the uh, width and i'll just make it as a size over here and then i'll have a height over here that will be also of the size si jd size and let's go on to the top over here and let's create a double of the uh, size and let's have a default of the 50 and now uh, once we click on our button we will set the state of the our size so it will be of the size will be of the uh, we need a random so currently we don't have random so let's uh, final uh, random number uh, let's see a uh, random which is of equals to the uh, R A N D O M random so once we have that let's go and grab this one and random dot the uh, next we will require a double and let's have the maximum value of this one to be around 300 and i guess that should be fine so whenever this particular size changes uh, the emanated it should emanate to the bounce out and uh, let's go to the home screen and uh, let's add that button to navigate over there so let's grab this and let's paste it over here and i need to change it to the uh, size emanation and it should be of the uh, size and let's rebuild this one and now uh, once we rebuild it let's go to our over here go to the size emanation and we get this one and when we click on this you can see it is emanating that particular image for us based on the size it is changing right so we are generating a random size 
and that is helping us to emanate this particular image over here that's cool so i guess that's all for this lesson we learn about the size emanation how we can emanate our widget using the size emanation so that's all for this lesson let's move on to the next one till then have a great day